What is up everybody? This is Yuri and welcome to another episode. In this video, we are going to talk about 10 different roles and position and areas you can work in computer science and technology field other than software development and programming jobs. So let's get started. The first one is QA positions. QA stands for quality assurance or software testing. There are two different roles which you can choose to apply for. One is like a manual tester, software tester, functional tester, where you don't require any technical programming skills or software development skills, but you have to understand how product works and what are the client requirements, what are the functionality expectations and requirements, and you test the software. For example, if you had to test Facebook login page, what would you do? You put your email address and password and click login and it logs you in. That's one of the tests which you would perform as a software tester. Now the other and opposite where technical skills are required is automation testing where you would do the exact same thing a manual tester or a functional tester would do but you would write a script and computer would perform that. That does require some form of technical skills and programming skills. The second one is release engineering team or nowadays it's called DevOps. So in that position, you will be responsible of building the product, building the release pipeline, how all the different technology integrates together and you make a pipeline and integrate and build the product. So your role will be in doing that. The third one is IT and system engineering positions. Now it can be in-house and or client facing. The first one where you are in-house where you will be helping entire office and seeing the performances, server performances, helping if something breaks in computer, upgrading the software, making sure all your software works together and you know your printer is working with your softwares and stuff like that. Other one is where you are actually facing client and you're a system engineer which means that you are helping client install the software in cloud or on their server system you understand the server requirement your software requirement and you help install the install the software on client location or on the cloud or you know nowadays it's so much popular to host our software on amazon web services google cloud etc the fourth one is database management positions now in that you don't really require uh, technical programming skills you actually require to learn database management scripting languages and you know sql languages or sql development so you will be the one who will be managing the database manipulation data like you know analyzing data making sure how the database is stored and all of that the fifth one is business analyst positions now business analyst position is a big spectrum but basic role of business analyst is that you go to client you understand the requirement you understand their business you analyze their business you come back you write the tech specs and then give it to software development Team. they develop the software you understand the product you understand the software and you go and implement it or train your clients back some companies have detailed role where you are just writing text picks where you are just gathering requirement where you're just analyzing and solving problem so it can be anything from writing gathering the requirement to doing the training now sixth one is project management i am not kidding there is so much demand in it project management project management itself have so many roles project coordinator junior project manager associate project manager project manager program manager agile project management scrum master and so on so if you are really good with people and if you're really good with technology you have you will be the blend of both of them and you will successfully execute that role seventh one is customer support or tech support positions now many companies like apple google microsoft they all have customer support department i mean there are many in their small companies also have customer support department they all look for people who have some com some form of computer science background or technology background so if you really don't like programming and development but you love people and love solving problems that might be another area where you can go basically if you have ever called google support or 
or Apple support team and they help you solve the problem. They have, they don't really do programming, but they have good knowledge about their products and they help you solve the problem. The eighth one is pre-sales and post-sales. In this, you don't really go and sell the product, but the sales team bring the client to you so you can help them understand the technical requirements and specification of your product. You don't really require programming skills or technical skills but you have to be really good with the product and understand the technical specification of your software and the post sales is where you once you sell the product you help your client deal with any kind of technical solutions and problems they are having or help them send it to the right group and department in your company ninth one is product management if you know Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google, he was a product manager of Google Chrome browser and Android operating systems and then later on he became CEO of Google. The basic role of product manager is to understand the client need, business need, market demands and build the product roadmap that what kind of functionality if you put it in your product will help sales team, marketing team to sell the product and build a good product which will help user to use more of your product so that's your primary role as a product manager to build the product roadmap understand the client demand and then you know tell convert those requirement into like good specification for development team so that they can build a great product and in the last one is tools expert or admin what I mean by that is nowadays there are so many tools like Salesforce, CRM tools and Atlassian products. You can become expert of that tool, you can get certification of that tool and then there are many companies who help clients install that product, install their software for their project management, software development and, and also train the companies and on how to use that software. So if you don't want to do programming job but really want to train people on how to use that software, that might be another good area where you can work. So those were the top 10 roles, positions, areas you can work in computer science and technology field other than software development and programming. We don't really require technical and technical core programming skills. I hope you like this video and get a different perspective on different fields available in computer science and technology field other than just software development and programming. So if you have computer science degree but not working as a software developer or a programmer, Please put a comment, I would love to know what you are doing and how did you get your job. It will be inspiring to me and other people who are watching this video and reading your comment. Please like, subscribe, share and inspire. Until our next episode, keep smiling and keep hustling.